Hey everybody, Marcus Crawford here with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel. Hey, I'm out at uh, Kleiner Park today. I just uh, went on a little walk and, uh, you know, I was only out here maybe less than a week ago flying the Mini 3, looking at the uh, autumn leaves and uh, they are changing fast. So I've got the, uh, the little uh, Nano, the Autel Evo Nano Plus with me today. And uh, we all know this has a very remarkable camera on it. So and it captures very vivid colors. So I thought it'd be a good one to get out here and uh, take it up in the air and look at some of the autumn leaves around the park here, uh, which should be kind of fun. And then additionally, just for me, uh, I, you know, I want to kind of dig through the app a little bit on my own and uh, look at some things and, and get more familiarized uh, with the drone. I mean, I've flown the drone a lot, but, uh, you know, I fly drones with the DJI Fly app all the time. I'm very familiar with that app. This guy, because uh, I don't fly it as much, not so much. So I'm going to be digging around in the app a little bit. A lot of that, I'm quite sure I'll probably edit out of the video so you don't have to sit through it. Uh, but we do want to get up and, and look at the colors and see how it's changing. It's a beautiful day here today. Uh, little or no wind. Uh, temperature in the mid-70s Fahrenheit. So. Uh, yeah, let's quit messing around. Uh, let's get this bird in the air. Okay, I've got the uh, the drone fired up and the uh, app fired up. Uh, let's take a look in here and see if it's, uh, click on, well, safe to fly tells us that it doesn't need any calibrations, but let's look here. Uh, return to helm altitude, 36 meters, that's plenty. Yeah, those settings are okay. Signal loss, return to home. Uh, it's not asking for any kind of calibration, so we're good to go there. Uh, yeah, I am going to also go into, I believe it's in camera here, where I can, uh, yeah, let's format the SD card so that we know we have a fresh SD card in there. And I want to uh, put the, uh, the, the speed mode uh, in, so that's when ludicrous mode it is in uh, uh, that, that it will favor speed over the camera. And I'm trying to remember where you do that. Again, I told you that I don't mess around in this, uh, uh, this app enough. So I don't see it here in safety mode, speed modes. I don't see that listed anywhere. Control mode two, flight mode, maybe in there. Yeah. Uh, no, ludicrous. Maybe it's under there. Okay, let's go into ludicrous mode. Yeah, that's where it is. What do you know? And I'll, I'll be honest with you, that's one of the things that I don't care for about the Sky app is you have to dig two or three layers deep sometimes. So we're going to put it in speed priority rather than video priority. And what does that mean? That means that it, it could when we have it in speed mode, it could potentially dip the gimbal. So we are doing that uh, with the understanding that that's, uh, that's how it's gonna be. So it's in speed priority. I'm gonna go back to standard mode back here. We are going to get, uh, we're gonna get out of the, uh, uh, the app here and uh, time to quit messing around and, and take off. Let's take a look at our camera settings again. We are in uh, 4K. 30 frames per second, so that's good. We are in 100% automatic. Let's start recording now. Start recording. And it started recording, and I'm gonna do an automated takeoff. The drone is right next to me here, and we have the uh, the uh, uh, the landing pad on the uh, picnic table here. Home point has been there refreshed. There it goes, I'm leaning away. And there's the little drone. And bottom sensor, you know, it's... Uh, it's typical, let's say it's 0.7 meters and uh, really we're 1.2 meters high, but let's go straight up here. Well, you know what? We're not going anywhere because uh, I forgot to put the sticks on the, uh, on the controller. Well, I'll hold that up so you guys can see it on the camera. Got the sticks right here. The drone is just going to hover there for a minute. So that's another issue that we can talk about while we're here is that... Uh, I wish that they had made a place on this controller for the sticks, but we've got them on there now. So let's go. Let's go straight up.
and we still we got that bottom sensor error for quite a ways there and 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 so you know people say correctly that that bottom sensor is good up to 10 meters high it is but what i'm saying is it's reading it's beeping and it's reading incorrectly so let me see if i can lower it straight back down here yeah and see we're below 10 meters and it's saying that there's something uh 1.4 meters underneath the bottom of the drone and there isn't uh, so that is the sensor error with this guy and I've also had that sensor go off much higher in the air than that as well so uh, so we're looking pretty good here and you can kind of see that the, that the fall colors are uh, are definitely in place uh, so let's uh, let's just get up how, how high are we here we're about let's get up about 20 meters high and let's just kind of fly around a little bit and again, we're in standard mode or normal mode, as you would otherwise call it. And it's pretty cool. We were out here the other day, and the reds of these trees were just starting to come in. And now they're, uh, they're kind of out in, uh, in full force. So we'll just kind of do a little flyabout here and get you, to, get you a look at some of the colors. Let's uh, go across the little road here. And uh, I'm essentially going kind of due south now. And in fact, there's some kind of interesting looking trees in some of these houses. So let's kind of come around that way a little bit. We'll just kind of fly sideways. Kind of give you a look at some of the other trees here. Look at that tree uh, kind of in the center of frame there starting to turn red. Isn't that beautiful? Holy cow. Yeah, that's worth the price of admission right there. So uh, what my intention is, is to go out to uh, the, one of the areas for one of the sculptures here. And boy, it looks like the leaves are almost gone off of this guy. Holy cow. Those were just coming in uh, the other day and now they're, uh, they're getting blown off of there in a hurry. And in fact, they had one of the, the uh, maintenance people, one of the landscape people was, uh, was blowing leaves here earlier. So let's kind of do a rotation around this guy. I'm kind of feeling like I should get more height just for safety, just for safety's sake. I think we're probably plenty high enough, but, uh, and you know what? Uh, I'm not exactly pointed directly at the drone and, and we are getting really good signal here. Uh, and you know, it's, it's a ways away, uh, so. Yeah, I mean, you know, those are, that's the kind of things that Autel does right. Let's pick up that camera for a little bit of a reveal. Keep the rotation going. And recently I did, uh, I did a video uh, over here at, at these trees kind of across the street here uh, by, the, uh, by the CarMax store. So maybe we can just go over the top of those. Although I don't, it doesn't look to me like they're, they're, they're all still pretty green and just started wow oh there's a car carrier there that's what that is okay but look at the row of trees here uh by the sidewalk they're all uh they're all getting very red so let's get down a little lower and see if we can get some video of them uh i have to tell you uh man no complaints on control signal on this guy holy cow because we're down Image pretty transmission low. signal is yeah, weak. Now it gave me a weak signal transmission warning there, but you'd never know it by looking at FPV here. It's it's looking good. Let's uh let's see if we can kind of go sideways. Kind of go sideways by these. That field you're looking at across the street there, it's kind of weird. Well, and we're kind of facing into the sun, so this may not be that good of a picture here. Uh I'm going to grab a little more altitude. Yeah, that gets us right out of the... So we're not pointing the lens of the camera right at the sun. Uh, but that field across the street there, it looked like they planted something there in the spring, and then they, they kind of uh, raked it up, and it's, uh, it's been fallow pretty much uh, all year long. Okay, let's turn around here, because I know we're kind of over the parking lot. And those of you that follow my channel, you know what we're looking at there. That's the Village in Meridian, big shopping center. Here we've got some color over here by the uh, the Veterans Memorial, or the, uh, well, it's a, uh, 
memorial to uh, to those that gave the ultimate sacrifice for their country in Idaho. And I just got a beep there from the controller, and I don't know exactly why. Not getting any dialog box or anything. So I'm not sure what that was about. Let's, uh, let's move forward slowly here, and let's take a look at these trees down here. They're looking pretty good, aren't they? Starting to show some color. This is just such a beautiful time of year to fly. I mean, the grass is still green. Uh, you know, the, the trees are starting to turn. I, I just, I really enjoy it. Okay, let's drop that camera down and let's do kind of a rotation around this guy. And again, in standard mode is a little hard. You've seen me overdo it there a little bit. Harder to do sometimes for me one direction as opposed to the other. And let's do a reveal of the memorial here as we come around. There, yeah, now that's a beautiful shot, isn't it? Yeah. The more memorial to our war dead and the, the uh, seasons changing. Red trees on the over by the street and then the, the yellow leaves here. I like that. This is a senior center right here. Uh, I don't know. I've never been inside the place. I'm 66 years old, so I don't know how senior you have to be. But uh, anyway... Uh, I guess I'm a senior citizen. It's kind of weird to think of myself as a senior citizen, but I guess I am. 66 and a half, actually. Uh, okay, let's, uh, let's go kind of down the uh, center kind of Broadway esplanade here. And, and look at the, the, uh, the trees changing color here. Uh, the, especially in the center here by, uh, Julius Kleiner himself, uh, you can see there he's getting covered in leaves a little bit because we're getting some yellow leaves. Oh, I see some other colors over here. Ooh, didn't mean to move that fast. Sorry, folks. Oh, this is cool. We need to go down this way, don't we? Yeah. So we got some we got some uh, reds coming through here, and you know this is the time of day that there's not a lot of people in the park, so it's perfect time for this kind of flight. We're not going to bother anybody keep moving forward here I brought it down a little bit in the altitude so you could get a look at some of these colors and let's move on uh, towards the street and uh, yeah you know what uh, we can we can go the other way around the other side of the park this is kind of a path that I probably don't fly terribly often and, and the reason is usually there's a lot of people over here so I, I tend not to, I tend to kind of avoid, obviously you can't fly over people, so I avoid it. But I don't see anybody right now on the sidewalk, so I think we're good. Let's get, uh, let's go down this little uh, walking path here. And that's a play area uh, off to the, uh, off to the right there. Let's move over a little bit more. In fact, I'll just be a little bit out into the street a little bit there. Then we'll drop down, we'll drop some altitude here as we get past that area. And you guys probably recognize this. Uh, I've been talking about these for a while. The pickleball courts that they're, worried, that they're working on, I, I know they're gonna either plant something or do something where all that dirt is. I don't know which. Will it be asphalt? Will it be, will they plant it in grass? I don't know. But they're doing a good job of getting it ready to go. Again, let's look at some colors here. Look at towards the street there. Boy, they I really like that. We got yellows and reds. Again, like I said, just one of my favorite times of year to be out here flying a drone. Where are we at battery? We're still at 55% battery wise. Okay. Yeah, and it gave us a rear sensor there. And I know we're up high enough that there wasn't anything behind us. So I don't know what that was about. Let's, uh, let's move back this way. Let's see if we can kind of get, uh, let's lower the altitude here and get over the top of these trees. And we'll kind of go between the, uh, the band shell here. And then that's a restroom off to the left. Uh, yeah, this is a good, this is a nice little route to look at some colors. And look at this, we've got reds and yellows and greens and evergreen trees even right here. Uh, yeah, this is a, 
again, like I said, this time of year, and the grass is still green. I think this was probably almost the perfect time to be out here uh, on a flight. So let's bring it in closer to us. I am right in here. Let's stop and let those people walk by there. And I'm down in between these trees here. What I want to do, you can see me there. Let's drop that camera down. I don't want to get over the top of anybody, but I want to kind of get down low here and kind of fly between the trees. So there, I think we've got a good little gap here. Let's bring the drone down and pick the camera up. And uh, let's see if we can kind of bring it over the top of us here. We can, I'm gonna put it into uh, slow mode here. Yeah, I don't wanna be a ludicrous. I'm gonna hit click it one more time and we're in smooth mode. Again, uh, this, you have to do that in the app, there's no switch on the controller to change speed modes. Let's pick the camera up just a little and let's see if we can get uh, in between these trees. And of course, what I'm worried about is branches sticking out like that one, but hopefully obstacle avoidance will help us there. And I'm bringing it right over the top of me here. Right over the top. And I'm looking at the drone here. It helps to have eyes on the drone, and we're heading right to that uh, evergreen tree there. I wonder if uh, what the obstacle avoidance would do if I head towards that tree. Yeah, I don't know. Doesn't look like it's going to fly around. I'm not getting any warnings or anything. I'm nervous here, folks. I'm, I'm looking at the drone, and of course, it's hard to tell. Yeah, I'm not getting any obstacle avoidance warnings at all. Yeah, okay, that's about as close as I'm going to get. Let's spin it around here a little bit. Uh, you know, I complain sometimes about how the, uh, the drone doesn't uh, come down very fast. So let me tell you, that time it sure did. So uh, yeah, so so this is me just uh, line of sight, putting it through the trees here. So okay, let's get out the other side, and uh, then we'll kick this baby back up in the air a little bit. I uh, you know, I, I wish I I wish I trusted uh, the obstacle avoidance on this drone more. I don't have enough experience with it, and I I just don't feel like now is the time to to be uh, messing around with that too much. Okay, we're at 35% battery. So I got one thing that I wanna do here. And you know, you saw me put in ludicrous mode. We've got a little bit of a crooked horizon there. I noticed that earlier. Let's go into click again, standard mode. Now ludicrous mode, it's gonna ask me to confirm. Let's go up higher. We're gonna fly out this way and let's see what kind of speed we can get with this guy. In ludicrous mode, remember we put it in speed priority. So. Let's see, there we go, 9, 10, 11, 12, uh, 14. I think advertised speed on this guy is 15 meters per second. And not quite. Let's turn it around here. And I hate taking footage directly into the sun like that, but uh, so we're gonna, we're gonna turn it around and we're gonna try this again. And then we'll bring the drone back. And in fact, we'll do a, uh, a return to home and see if we can get a precision landing with this guy. My friend Ron Brown was just telling me that he was able to get a precision landing with his Nano. So how fast we go in here? 11, 12. Yeah, it went faster the other way. Yeah, so I don't think we got any faster than... The aircraft battery yeah, is low. Wants to Please return, return to home. home. So I'm going to change the speed mode. Cancel. I'm going to change the speed mode back to normal, standard they call it. And I'm going to manually hit that return to home 
on the controller. Returning to home. And so it's coming right back to us, and you can see we're right here. So let's uh, let's see. I'm. I, we've got the camera pointed at the uh, at the pad, so we'll see. And I'm uh, I'm standing back a little ways, and I'm on the controller. Let's see. Uh, let's see how close Please it make gets. sure landing point is safe. Good. Unsafe, Unsafe environment. environment. To continue landing. Confirm to continue and landing. That is what my. Uh, my drone always says, I always get that. So I know I have some kind of a sensor issue on the bottom landing. of the drone. Please make sure landing point is safe. Yeah, so let's see. And again, I'll cancel. If it doesn't look like, if it looks like it's gonna fall off here, we'll cancel. Yeah. Return I, to home I could cancel. I, you know, I didn't want to, uh, I just didn't see any point in, uh, and having the drone come down on the edge of the uh, uh, of the uh, uh, of the uh, the uh, uh, picnic table there. That's what I was trying to say, picnic table. So let's bring it right down here. I got it in landing mode, and boom. And I'm holding the stick right down. You it took a second to shut off the. Uh, to shut off the props and again I think that's a downward sensor error that I have with this drone in particular uh, I like that it shut off recording uh, on its own uh, so yeah I'm sitting back down and uh, I'll get the uh, I'll get the drone shut off and uh, and we'll do a quick conclusion here hey okay the uh, Autel Evo Nano Plus uh, hey, I can't wait to get home and look at this footage off the SD card because one of the things that this drone, uh, you can say whatever you want about the drone, but it has a brilliant camera on it and one of the cool things about it is it has a very vivid color profile and it should look good. These fall colors look, uh, look really good. It was, I mean, I, I think this was almost the ideal time to be out here for a flight. The trees are pretty much in full bloom and uh, the grass is still green and it was a nice sunny day. What else can you ask for? Uh, and I, the drone performed great as well. Now, did we see those bottom sensor errors? And you know, mine will not, I always get that unsafe to land or whatever, won't land, because these sensors just aren't working like they should. Uh, I was hoping that Autel would have helped me out with that by now, but uh, uh, they have not, uh, haven't heard from them. So we'll see how that goes. I, I may touch base again, but you know we're kind of a ways into it now uh, however other than that the 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 drone uh, flies great the connection was amazing so when I was over at the other end of the park there well actually both corners of the park I had the drone at fairly low altitude uh, only one time did I get a little signal uh, dialog box and even then our signal was fine our FPV was perfect uh, so excellent connectivity uh, Autel good job on that uh, as far as flight controls, I love the way the drone flies, flies good. Ludicrous mode, uh, you know, we put it in speed priority there. I was a little bit disappointed that uh, we couldn't get it up to uh, that 15 meters per second because there really is no wind. So I don't know what that was about. And the one direction, I think we got it up to 14. And then the other direction, I don't think we ever got really over 13 meters per second. But uh, neither here nor there you don't buy a mini drone uh, to be a speed demon that's for sure but what you are hoping to have is is the kind of power to cut through the wind uh, but uh, anyway mostly it was just a fun flight I enjoyed flying the drone and I got to get it down low we had it up high and we got to look at almost every corner of the park and all the trees uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it I guess that's about it this is Marcus Crawford with the Idaho quadcopter channel out and if you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing to my channel. Most of all, I so appreciate you taking the time to look at this video. And, you know, we'll see you on the next one. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Autel Evo Nano Plus.